um, my niece, Emma, came, came, chimed up and she says, buck up, Uncle Dan. <laughs> she says, no one said that this planet-saving business is going to be easy, <laughs> but I know you can do it. This is little Emma, right? So this is how we, me, our staff, our partners, all of you, this is how we're thought of now. We're in the planet-saving business. Isn't that kind of cool? It all began with Genesis. <laughs> and you know the story on the first day, on the second day, the air, the water, the animals. On the seventh day, maybe in your Bible it says God rested. Actually not. On the seventh day, God created the Catholic Climate Covenant <laughs> to take care of all the other things that he had created. The great thing about the Catholic Climate Covenant and why we want to be so, why we're so enthusiastic about being a part of it is that it brings the Catholic community together. It brings all of our experience. It brings our teaching. It brings leadership. It brings our institutions together because I really believe, as, as John was saying, that, that, you know, together we can play a significant role in shaping the debate about climate change. We can play a significant role about, in shaping how individuals live their lives and how institutions and corporations make decisions that impact climate change. We can play a significant role in U.S. policy as it relates to climate change. And so let's take this evening to celebrate, to be able to, uh, to really say, you know, thanks be to God for the great accomplishments that have occurred and to look forward to the future as well. Now in solidarity with um, all the poor and to all the members of, of Earth's community that suffer as a result of uh, ecological uh, destruction, let us pray. Are we being faithful? Are we doing the work that we need to do to help save the planet from ourselves? Are we being faithful to God's call to be caretakers of his beautiful creation? Are we living the gospel mandate to care for those who suffer because of our neglect? If we keep our focus on these questions, we will be successful for 10 years and beyond. I have no doubt that God will manage the rest of this and the covenant, which is all of us, will be successful. <laughs>